I'm Katherine Kelly. Many of you know me as Chef Kelly, and I'm coming to you from my home on Amelia Island. I just a few months ago stepped off of the beautiful Splendor. I hope you all will have a chance to sail on here real soon. And uh, the chefs and I in the Culinary Arts Kitchen wanted to stay connected with you, our friends and our guests, during this period of time before we're back together exploring all kinds of great culinary destinations and cooking and eating and feasting together. Um, we wanted to come to you from our homes and share with you some of our favorite destinations and recipes. What's interesting about the tagine is the dish that we use to cook is called a tagine and the recipe is called a tagine. Uh, there's another place where that happens in uh, Valencia. Paella is the name of the dish and paella is the name of the pan. The Moors, as you might remember, spent quite a bit of time in Valencia uh, and Andalusia, so maybe there's some reason for that, who knows. But what we're gonna cook today is a chicken tagine. I'm gonna take onions and slice them up, put them in the bottom of the tagine with a little bit of butter and a bay leaf, and then we're going to um, let that sort of simmer down and let the onions soften up. Then I've taken chicken breasts that I have rubbed in a collection of um, spices. We will give you the recipe. Um, and then uh, when the onions have rendered down, we're gonna put the chicken on top, cover, and just let it get happy in there. Throw in a few apricots toward the end but then one of the reasons that I'm gonna be sharing with you three of my favorite sauces is because from this very humble dish, very well seasoned but very humble dish, we'll be able to taste it three different ways because the sauces will uh, be unique and different, but our main protein will be the same. So let's get cooking. So the first sauce that we're going to make to go with our chicken tagine is my son-in-law's favorite. We call it a sultana sauce. And uh, one of the things you'll find in Moroccan cuisine uh, a good bit is dried fruit. So you can use the golden raisins, regular raisins, prunes, any kind of dried fruit. So what we're putting in here are some uh, apricots. Um, I usually put a few, I'm going to save a few apricots for my uh, tagine some butter that's been melted which gives it a richness and then we're going to add lime now this is the sour and the sweet so of those tastes of sweet sour salty bitter and umami this particular sauce um, has the benefit of a beautiful aromatic blend of sour and sweet. So using my little food processor here, all we do is just beat it till it's kind of chunky. I take a little taste of it. Mmm. Oh, fantastic. And then that's our first sauce that we'll be serving with the tagine. So, sultana sauce. So our second sauce is gonna bring in the elements of bitter. And when I say bitter, I don't necessarily mean an awful bitter, I mean a rich aromatic bitter like we think of with arugula and greens. So this sauce we call the verde sauce. I have a little bit of watercress from my hydroponic gardener here in Florida. And that uh, gives a really uh, bitey, beautiful, um, bitter taste. I have some cilantro and I'm just gonna take about a half of a bunch and the little stems I'll just discard. I have some parsley, and again, I'm just gonna take the tops of those, put them in my food processor. And then I like to give a little kick to the verde sauce, so what I've done is I've roasted a pepper, 
And I like to roast my pepper because I don't like the real um, bitey, spicy uh, notes in this particular um, sauce. But I do like the, what the um, char on the pepper does. So I'm just going to put that right in there. And then because I don't really want to taste the flavor of uh, any particular oil, a coconut oil, avocado oil, I guess you could use avocado oil, uh, I use grapeseed oil. So I'm just going to put grapeseed oil in here and then put my top on. And I'm pulsing this. And again, I want a chunky, a chunky sauce. I don't want a lot of, um, I don't want it to be terribly smooth. Just a little chunky. And so now I have my second sauce, which is the verde sauce. H has notes of a little bit of the kick from the pepper, but for the most part, the beautiful notes of the green. So our second sauce, verde sauce. Our third sauce is a walnut yogurt sauce, bringing in the creamy umami, a uh, little bit of tart from the yogurt. So I take one container of full fat yogurt, and I like to use the 5% if I can get it. And then simply about a cup of crushed walnuts. Now, mm, yum. And all we do here is mix this up into a beautiful creamy yogurt sauce with the walnuts. Now I eat this as with a little bit of honey as a dessert, but I love this with the tagine because it brings that creamy element in. So now we have our three sauces. We have our sultana sauce, we have our verde sauce, and we have our yogurt walnut sauce. Um, so let's put it all together with a beautiful tagine. So here we are with our beautiful tagine, but before I open it up, uh, we at Region 7 Seas Cruises love our cocktails. So I wanted to share with you one of my favorite Moroccan cocktails. What I've done here is I've infused some Moroccan tea with mint, and I'm pouring that over a glass of rocks ice. I have some beautiful honey, just to sweeten it up a tad. And then you can use the liquor of your choice. I'm using vodka today, but I have used white rum as well. And then some really generous squeezes of lime. Stir that around. The alcohol in the vodka will certainly melt the honey. And cheers. So let's look at our beautiful tagine. What we have here is the chicken with the uh, onions that were rendered. It smells so divine with the apricots. And then we have our three sauces, our sultana sauce, our green sauce, and our walnut sauce. We'll be posting all of these recipes for you. So if you wanna to try to make this at home, we'd love to see uh, shots of your final food. Can't wait to be sailing with you again. And in the interim, stay safe, uh, be kind to one another, and bon appetit.